Good morning, dear students. I hope you are doing good today. In the ICT lab, so far we have worked on Paint, that is this software, right? Any more, we won't be working on Paint. We are going to start working on a software on which all the grown-ups work, and the name of the software is Excel. And this is how the Excel icon looks. It is green in color. It looks like a half-open book, and it's got a letter X on it. Okay? It's green in color. It looks like a half-open book, and it got it's got letter X on it. Fine. Now let's open this Excel icon. Okay? Let's open this Excel software. How to open this software is what I'm going to show you now. Let me minimize the screen. On your desktop you will see a windows key at the bottom left corner of your screen all right i'll click on this windows button and then i'll click on the search button click on this button and then here you can type excel that is e x c e l you get the first option click on this option and when you click on that you get this kind of a screen where it says what kind of a template do you want to select so always select a blank workbook so that is the first one let me click on this and now this is my excel screen so if you see the screen you can see some rectangular boxes inside and it looks like your math notebook where you have these kinds of grid lines so if you see there are lines starting from side to side right these lines from side to side these are called rows let me type the word these are called rows and if you see there are lines starting from top to bottom these are called columns These are rows, row number 1, row number 2, row number 3. These are all rows and these are all columns. The columns are num are lettered. If you see there are letters on the columns. But the rows are numbered. There are numbers on the rows. So this is row number 2. This is row number 11. This is row, this is column G. This is column J, this is column D, right? So these are columns and these are rows. If you see here, there are a lot of rectangular boxes. And these rectangular boxes are called cells. These rectangular boxes are called cells. So you have learned three words now. That is rows. Lines from side to side are rows, lines from top to down are columns and these rectangular boxes in Excel are called cells. Come on, repeat with me. Rows, columns, cells. Okay? So today you are going to see how to choose a cell in a spreadsheet using the mouse and how to identify the name of the cell. So these are the two things that you're going to learn in Excel today. Okay, let's see how to click on a cell and type on it. Okay, let me remove all these things that I've typed. So type it to type inside the cell, just select on the cell that you want and using the keyboard you can type. For example, I'm going to type my name Miss Ria. Right? This is how you type inside the cell. And just click on the cells to select it. My second objective is how to find the cell names. Names of the cell. Okay? How to find the names of these cells. There are so many different cells on the screen. Right? There are so many different cells. How to find the name of the cell? It's pretty simple. All you need to see is the letter on the column and the number on the row. What is the column letter here? It is F. The letter is F. So I'm going to type letter F here. 
which is the row number. The number over here shows 6. So the name of the cell is F6. And also you can find the name over here. Right? It shows the, the name box shows the name of the cell. So let me click on this cell. Can you guess the name of the cell? Yes, it is G3. Let me type the name G3. See, the letter G3 is a name over here. Again, what is the name of this cell? You can see over here, it is C3. Again, this one, what is the name of this cell? B7. Again, can you tell me the name of this one? It's D8. So today your task is to type at least 10 cell names. Okay, click on the random cells and just type the cell names, at least 10 of them. And after that, you, you need to color those cells. Just like in paint, we use the paint bucket to fill color inside the cell, inside the shapes. You are going to use the paint bucket here too to fill the color. I will click on the paint bucket. I will not click on this. I will click on the arrow next to the paint bucket. And here you can click on the color that you want and fill the color inside the cells. Click on this one. Then you put green. Here. Let me search for a pink color. Is there a pink color? Yes, there is pink. And here I'm going to put blue color. This cell, I'm going to color it yellow. Fine. So this is how you color the cells and type the names of the cell. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay healthy, eat healthy food and be good.